So, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. Let me move you right over here. I hope you're doing well today. So, I hope you've been busy, and I'm going to revisit this topic because, you know, I never want to come to my channel or my videos with the tone of, I told you so, because especially when you're talking about people being um, violated and or um, murdered. This is, that's just not something that, that's, this is not the moment or ever the moment for that. But that doesn't mean we can't take the time to highlight continually the things that we are seeing in our country and in our communities. Now, first things first, somebody's going to push back and say things like this happen every day. Yeah, they do, which is, again, why would you want to become one of the statistics? But especially right now, since we know we have an issue, which is a nice way to put it, um, with a rise in crime, we don't even, do we really need to go into this? It's kind of funny though, because, you know, individuals will make comments on my channel or on my videos and, you know, it's a, it may be on something that is wide open in the news that is happening or whatever, like such as bank failures. And I just had somebody ask me this morning or yesterday said something to the effect of, I don't understand what you're saying. What's going on? What's going on with the banks? Well, I understand there's a lot of people that want to ignore a lot of things. They don't watch the news anymore. They've gotten rid of television or whatever. But guys, you have to stay aware to a certain degree of what is happening uh, in our communities so that you can be better prepared. Okay. And that's what I'm trying to do more with myself and have been trying to do with my followers because things aren't getting better and things aren't getting easier. In fact, things are getting more dangerous. So let's just be honest and come out and, and spill the beans like we should. So you know that what, two weeks ago or whatever, and I've talked about this off and on for quite a while. So this is not a new topic, okay? Your safety. Um, but in the last two weeks or so, I've done um, two, a couple of videos uh, in fact, a year ago, James and I actually did a video together talking about how you really should try to not shop alone if at all possible. I know that's not always possible, but if you're going to go shopping by yourself, especially you ladies out there, please make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Surroundings, please make sure you're going to a place where you typically do feel a little bit more safe that, um, you know, has good, better security than other places. It may be a hair more expensive than say the Walmart, but your life is priceless. So again, these are all things that we have talked about. We've also talked about, uh, another video, which was a response talking about, um, unfortunately I've had several of you women out there that pushed back on me. I, I don't understand. I'm, I would be a liar if I said to you that I understood your position. I don't understand your position. I do understand the position of I am a single woman and I have to go do certain things by myself at certain times. Go to the grocery store, go to the bank, go to work. I get that. But when you elect to go hiking, walking, running by yourself with no no protection, earbuds in, and you don't think things are happening to these a lot of these women in particular, young men too, a lot of people for that matter, That that's just adding more fuel to the fire. When you say, I'm gonna put on my booty shorts and I'm gonna go run up and down the hiking trail by myself, that's who criminals are looking for because I hate to say this, they know you're not thinking and they know you're not aware and they know that their odds are better in terms of doing whatever they want. And unfortunately, we have seen a story come out in the past couple of days of that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young lady in Arizona uh, who went walking. I don't know if she was jogging. Uh, it's been all over the news. Um, she was out on a hiking trail by herself. She was chased, they know that. They could tell that she was chased because she ran through and over by the looks of her body and the looks of her clothing. She was running for her life through barbed wire. 
I want that to absolutely terrorize you in right now. N not even going any further with the story, as we all know, unfortunately, she lost her life because she was stabbed 15 times by her violator. And uh, by what I've read this morning, he's 22 years old and uh, apparently has a criminal history. So these individuals are, are all over the place enough as it is. Now you have a system that is basically just letting criminals do whatever they want. And you're gonna go hiking, walking, jogging by yourself on in your neighborhood, down the road, uh, at a park, on a hiking trail? Are I mean, I'm gonna, I don't mean to talk down to you, but apparently somebody needs to be a little bit, needs to be a little bit more than just told, what are you thinking when you're doing these things? You've got to be smarter than this. This is not, your life is not a game. I'm talking to you exactly how I would talk to my, anybody that is a close friend or family. And as I've said this before, many of you I feel that are that way. I'm trying to save your life. I'm not telling you to not work out and be fit and be beautiful, but I am saying um, just because you want to be fit doesn't mean you lose your brain and you, you know, go out and think that you're invincible. You're not, if, especially if you are a woman. I'm sorry to tell you, I don't care what the trend is right now. If you were born a biological woman, you are a biological woman, no matter what they tell you. And a biological male, no matter what he thinks, if, whether he thinks he's an elm tree or a goonie bird today, he still can outman you, period, 99% of the time. Stop being in denial, okay? Wonder Woman is a fable. You're not Wonder Woman. I'm not Wonder Woman. We may be wonderful women. Praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus for women, men, women, men. Don't confuse it. But what I'm saying is the criminals are looking for the ones that aren't thinking. They're looking for anybody that they can do anything to that they feel that is the prime opportunity. And I hate to tell you, but you pretty gals, it doesn't even matter if you're pretty or not. You out there on a hiking trail, walking trail, by yourself, even if you have a little nippy chihuahua, is not a good thing, okay? Not only that, but we have also found out, have you seen the story? Let's just continue on since we're on this horrific subject today. But before I continue, please pray for this girl's, I call her a girl because, you know, she's, she's 29. That's not really a girl, but this young woman, um, please pray for justice for her. And please pray for her family. She doesn't deserve this, and neither do you. Okay? Don't don't take me out of context. I didn't say she deserved it, and neither do you. What I'm saying is, is what if somebody, what if she had listened to my video and actually had listened and said, you know, maybe I won't do that anymore. I'll go. I'll, I'm going to go to the gym where it's safer. I can park close. I'm. I've got better odds. There's people around me. Yeah, some dude's going to say something cute to me because I'm. He's going to hit on me. I have to put up with that. Oh, but isn't it better than being alone out on a walking trail? Seriously, I know you agree. Even if you are despising what I'm saying, because see, nobody likes to give up what they're used to doing. Everybody wants to do whatever they want because they don't think there's any consequences. That is what's wrong with a lot of things in society these days. Hence, the criminals are going to continue to perpetrate because there is no consequence to their actions. And guess what? You're on the line for, uh, to be the next in line for them to violate, to victimize. You've got to be smarter than this. But here's another thought. So everybody knows what's going on in the next couple of days with the border. Yeah, you know, do you? You, oh, it's going to be, oh, it's awesome. Right? So how many more criminals? Well, we don't know, do we? Think about everything that's flooding into our country by design, deliberately. If you're in Texas, Arizona, Utah, all down there along near all of that, and they're just you're the first wave, unless they're being bust, which we know they are. But think about how many more people that is, and do you think all of them are well intentioned? You have got to be kidding me. Did you hear about the eight year old child? Have you heard this story? Mm. The eight year old child, the eight year old girl who was violated, I'm gonna use that word 
and they found 67 different DNA specimens. Do you understand what, I don't mean to be, I'm not trying to sound cute here. I'm really serious. Do you understand what, where I'm going with this? So, so that means that an eight year old child by all the, all the news that I've seen, that would in, in by all the biology that I've taken, that means that 67 different men violated her. So it is a miracle that this child has actually survived. Um, but let's be honest, she's probably traumatized, damaged for life um, in so many ways that I can't even speak of. I can't even, my mind can't even go there. But she probably, to truth be told, she probably won't ever be able to have children either. If, if really, honestly. Eight years old, probably not. And who knows how long that's been going on with her. But see, because we are, all of these things are coming in and nobody is really truly, truly doing anything about it. You're finding out how many women and children are being violated constantly. Does this happen around the world every day? Yes, but now we have an, a fundamental crisis building at the border and all in this country for so many different reasons, which is again and again and again why I say you have got to be smarter than you have been. Even if you are high alert all the time, you try to be, you've got to game it up too. Whatever that means for you, you need to be doing it. I'm always encouraging you to have self-awareness, situational awareness, training as best you can. Just be smart. Pick a smarter time to go out in public. Just be smart. Don't go out in public uh, places after dark. Don't go alone. Take the time and money and go and buy you a used treadmill and put it in your garage if you are just hell-bent on getting in your walk, okay? That way you can shut the garage door, open the garage door, turn on the fan, have your drink, listen to Post Malone and be jamming all the way, honey. Boom, 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 and build them muscles and looking all pretty. Don't go out alone and do these things. James and I went to the post office last night and uh, I don't wanna click this off here. James and I went to the post office last night. We counted four, four people. The first set, well, it was a set, it was two girls. It was getting dark. I mean, like you, it's like, you know when you're driving and you see people on the sidewalk, but it's getting dark, so you have to kind of drive, it's like you know they're there, but it's getting dark. Two girls, I'm gonna guesstimate they were around 15 years old pretty young teenage girls in short, short, booty short, running shorts, and only like sports bras, walking and running. Where's their parents? What, I mean, I almost wanted to pull over and say, where do, where are your, what are your, where are your parents? Do they have a brain? So there's that. Then we saw another runner, no doubt, running, running, running. And then we saw a guy, a young man, uh, very clean cut. Um, he was walking down by the post office. He he had his he walking with a little backpack, clean cut. Um, had his phone and earbuds in. I thought, dude, you're just you could be a, you could be a victim right now too. Somebody could pull over, do something to you, and throw your body right there over in that creek. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Not paying a lick of attention to anything around him. So I'm gonna say this in closing. I really don't care if this offends you because I offended people with my last two, two or a couple of videos. I, I, it's just ridiculous. If you get offended by stuff like this, you really need to click off and find another channel. And because there's really no hope for you, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lick you over like a mama cow and pretend that nothing bad ever happens to people and that th these things aren't happening around us because they are. If I offend you, great. But maybe next time you'll think, you know, I hope that I offend people to the point where I just keep it stays in your brain, but maybe next time you go, I'm not gonna admit it because I'm not. I'm not gonna tell that crazy woman, Patera, she's right. But you know what? I'm gonna, maybe I should buy a used treadmill and put it in the garage. If walking is that important, maybe I should move the recliner over and because I really wanna get a, a walk every day or every other day, but I don't wanna be victimized. So I'm gonna move the recliner over and I'm gonna make room for a little treadmill and I'm gonna make better decisions. I'm gonna try my best to not become a victim. That's the whole point of this. 
So if you never watch my video again, but I keep you from being a victim of a crime, then I did my job today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I can get it out. And by the way, Jesus is Lord and King. And he died for you and me on the cross. So if you haven't been told that today either, I just told you. And that's who we've got to start to... Uh, Guys, we got to be praying because there's so much going on. There's so many things happening in this country. It's hard to keep up with it. And I want you safe and I want you fed. Okay. That's my whole, that's my whole gig. I want you safe. I want you fed. And really, I want you saved in more ways than one. Like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your kind words and incredible support. Yes, I am over on Rumble if you didn't catch that. I know one of the videos is shorter. It messed up on the upload. I get that. I, I apologize. We'll redo it. We're just trying to get things started for backups, backups and backups, right? And we're busy right now in the midst of planting, planting, cleaning, and getting everything for the summer gardens and all of that. So I hope you are too. I'm worried about you. I am. I want you to be safe, even if I, even if you're mad at me. Just like my daddy or my like anybody that's an elder or mom or daddy or somebody in my family would say, I don't care if you're mad at me. You're going to be safe. Okay? I don't care if you're mad at me. You will respect the rules. This is the way it's going to go. You won't thank me now, but when you're 30 and you're married and you have a kid, you'll thank me. You don't have to, but I know you will. You know what? They were right every single time. It never failed me, and I hope my words haven't failed you. Guys, have a wonderful Sunday afternoon. We have more videos coming up. I promise, I promise, I promise. Appreciate you more than you know. Be safe. Like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you on the next video. Be safe.